Hey guys, I'm Joe Drake here with the fabulous Tan France, author of Naturally Tan, because he's naturally tan and I'm unnaturally tan. You Let's are, talk about it. You are unnaturally tan. I am. Talk to me about it. Okay, so is it fake bake? What is it? It's a tan towel. Oh. And a little bit of bronzer. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What is your natural color? It's like just white. That. <laughs> that. All right. Yeah. That's nice. That's not bad. No. Yeah. Why do you want to be my color? I don't know. I want to be naturally tan. But it is unnaturally tan <laughs> when it's not naturally tan. It's nice outside. It's very nice outside. You know, you want to bring summer. Do we look like siblings at this point? Do we? Well, you're sitting on your good side. Should we tell the the world? I have a bad side. That's just a fact. I don't you, think you do. You have you're a... very nice. You were sat on this side. Yeah. And I know that <laughs> this is this is my biggest diva quality. Okay. I do insist that I be on this side, and I will always turn to. You know, Barbara to Streisand does that. Yes, there are many people that do that. It's not just me. Really? It's not just me and Bob's. No. Mm -mm. All right. Well, let's talk about this book. Yes. It's fabulous. Let's Thank talk you. about where the title came from. Yes. Um, the title actually, okay, so this, this is the only part that didn't come from me. It came from, no uh, yeah, it came from somebody at the publishing house who was just incredible. And she said, I know that you have your plan for the title. The, honestly, the hardest part of the book was the name. Really? And she, yeah, the, the book was simple enough for me to write because it's my story. Right. But the title is the thing that gets you. And she, uh, she gave me the suggestion that was perfect. I mean, were you like, I'd, I'm annoyed that I didn't think of it myself. I know. Because it represents me perfectly. I'm very snarky. Yeah. I'm. Uh, it's tongue in cheek, it's playful, it's all of those things. You don't seem snarky. Not at all. No? Always. <laughs> Always. Always. So tell us what's in the book. And the book starts out uh, from when I was a kid and up to the point now how this boy went from being a, a boy who's brown and gay and in a religious family mm -hmm. in the north of England, a very, very white, uh, white town, um, and how I got out of that town, how I... Uh, started working in fashion and then how I got to the point that I am now, which is insane. I should not, this was not meant to be the life for me at all. If really? I followed the path that I was meant to take, this was not meant to be the life what for me. What was the path you were meant to take? Uh, I was meant to be a doctor or a lawyer. Really? Um, yes. And I was As decided by? Family, community. Right. Yeah. Uh, and instead, I decided to leave all that by the wayside, lied a lot to get to the point where I could go to fashion college and didn't tell my parents. Really? Graduated, shot the life out of them and like, hey, I really? Didn't, I didn't go to medical school. I'm so you had to yeah. lie about your interests and yeah. art and fashion and all of that. Yeah, really? I went to college and graduated and finally said, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't actually graduate what you think Stop. I graduated. Yeah. I know. It's an Did they pay lie. for it? No. Okay. No, no, no. In England, uh, education is free. Right. Rightly so. And oh, cool. uh, uh -huh, that's what our taxes pay for. Um, and so I uh, was able to get away with it because they weren't paying for it. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, and then and then it could talk through the process of uh, my businesses that I had in the U.S., how uh -huh. I retired um, after selling my businesses, and then the, uh, at that point uh, I got called by Netflix to wow. to audition for a show. Um, it's it's a story that is really honest. It's mm -hmm. a story that is hard to read sometimes, especially if, if you're Caucasian, because I go deep on how it feels sometimes the way we're treated by um, a lot of people. Um, I think a lot of people see my people as trouble. They see us right. on the news. They see Pakistanis right. or Muslims and they think, oh, terrorists. Yeah. Um, and I talk about that. There's a chapter called 9-11. No, sorry, um, never forget that's about 9-11. Mm -hmm. um, that is a very important chapter that I want everyone to read and say, right. maybe we need to start rethinking the way we address this. Absolutely. Yeah. And you've spoken about having a responsibility to yeah. write the book. Yeah. Is that part of it? That's absolutely part. Of yeah. it. And that was the part that I actually was so worried about, thinking the American media or American people in general might mm -hmm. really rail me for mm -hmm. this one, like rake me over the coals. But even if they do, I'm glad I'm at least addressing the yeah. issue. I have a platform and it feels like it's time for me to use that platform. Okay. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I've read parts of it and I'm going to continue reading it. What yeah. I think is interesting to your point is you talk about shows like Queer as Folk, Will yeah. and Grace that came out that were so monumental in the gay yeah. movement, yeah. but they were primarily, if not all, Caucasian gay men. And yeah. you didn't see any South Asian, Middle Eastern yeah. gay men. No. We still don't. We still I don't. Mean, Tan, you're sort of yeah. Breaking the mold there. Yeah, yeah, and it feels like a great honor to be in a position where I am able to uh, represent in a certain way. I don't profess to represent a whole community, but I'm right. at least offering a little diversity in this landscape. Uh, I, I'm glad that I'm on a, a network like Netflix who really does push to make right. sure that there is inclusivity on yeah. the network. When you watched Will and Grace or Queer as Folk, were you 
angry? Never. No, 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 yeah, never. What, I was your, the, what were your thoughts I when you were I loved the, what, God, I was obsessed with Will yeah, and Grace. Yeah, were we still all? Am. Yeah. yeah. It was I mean, a, that was like formative of my coming out years. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's incredible. The show's incredible. And at least it gives an insight into, it, at least it shows that, that our gays in the world, and back in the day, there was none of that. So that right. was one of the first really commercial shows that straight people could watch with right. their families and think, this is hilarious. Yes, they're gay, but it's hilarious. They, they did it a watered down version of what our life is, what right. gay life is. Um, but it was portrayed mostly by straight people. Yeah. Um, I, I do love that and I'm, I'm in a position now to be on a show where it's very much a real, real reality show where we are very much the people that we are on stage, sorry, on camera as we are off camera. Right. Um, we're not playing caricatures of ourselves. No. We are very much ourselves. And you're not mimicking the people that, the five, the fab no. five that came it's before us. No, it's a very us. different show. Did you watch the original? I watched, only after I got cast, I oh, watched really? the, yeah, I watched the British version of Queer Eye. Okay, right, there's um, that too. Yes, which I loved, and then I watched the American version. It was wonderful, and right. I loved the guys. They're actually super, super sweet guys, yes. and I can see why we were cast as Queer Eye at 2.0 because they are as sweet and open yeah. and, and sociable as we are. Right. Um, and so, yeah, it feels really special to be part of that yeah. little crew. Did you speak with them or the producers about not necessarily mimicking what they did? No, we just... You just did your own thing. Yeah. It was hard for them at that time because America or the world wasn't ready for what they had to say other than let's do a makeover. Right. For us, the makeover is secondary. You can't tell me to not talk about the things I want to talk Well, you can try, but, but you're going to... <laughs> It's not going to be well received. <laughs> right. Like if the producers ever said, hey, Tan, can you not talk about being brown? Go f yourself. Yeah, like, right. You don't get to talk right. to, to And I think they down. hopefully knew that when they cast you. They did. Right? And the cast the other four. Yeah, they heard how vulgar I was within a heartbeat. And yeah. like, yeah, he's not going to listen to what we have to say. I feel like I want to let you sip. No, 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 I'm good. I feel like it's the actually, comments are going to be like, he's trying to get no, coffee. Every time I put a pin <laughs> in his mouth, I'm like, it's scolding hot. It's scolding hot. It's scolding hot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I... Um, <laughs> uh, I, 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 the five of us are so headstrong. Yeah, so he I mean, are you? If you if you see any of us on social media, yeah. we've got a lot to say. Right, always. And so I can't imagine it would have been well received if they said, "Hey, we want you to be like the original Queer Eye, where we just talk about clothes and 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 makeovers." Right, that's not what we're about. Well, that brings me to my next question, which I find interesting: is you all get along very well. Yeah. But if you are all headstrong, there's yeah. got to be some conflict in there somewhat. The, one, the only, <laughs> we, right? do have, we do have conflict. Yeah. It's usually about temperature. Okay. Always. Explain. Actually, not usually. Always. Barbie's always too hot. Oh. Really? Yes, always. Karamo is always freezing. Okay. Even in Atlanta <laughs> when he's got a bomber jacket, he's still freezing. Right. Um, and then Jonathan is often wearing a sheer shirt, so he's also right. really cold. Okay. That's the, that's the main thing we fight about in that trailer. Is like, will can you please turn that down? No or can way. you please turn that up? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. But you guys are like best friends. They're like my siblings, so I can scream at one of them. Okay. And say, so there are there is fighting. Yeah, about the temperature. Okay. Like, <laughs> I am I'm freezing the turn the AC up. Yeah. Or the AC down, and then five minutes later, I'm like, let's, let's just do this. Like, yeah. We've, we're, this isn't about us. This is about our hero. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Are there episodes or moments that you shot that really stand out to you? So many. Yeah. Um, Mama Tammy in the Mama church. Mama Tammy is my favorite. I love her so much. And I've she, watched it like three times. She's genuinely the most lovely person in the she world. She needs her well. own show. Yes, I know she does. We I need know a spin off. She, Mama I know Tammy. she does. That was so touching, yeah. man. Yeah, I know. But here's the thing I don't think she'll have her own show because she's not that person. She's not after fame. She's, right. not about, she's just genuinely a good, good, like great person. Yeah. Um, so, Mama Tammy, uh, Skylar's episode uh -huh. because I felt like it really helped people understand even a one iota of what the trans community might go right, through. Right. Um, and then Jess, uh, our lesbian, mm -hmm. uh, Love. yeah, adopted yes. girl. Yes. That's what I think is so important about this version of Queer Eye, like you said about the last one. You dropped the for the straight guy part. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that original no. iteration, yeah. but there's something special about what you guys are doing now that's beyond just making over a guy who needs yeah. to wear like a Yes. A better fitted suit. I couldn't care less about that, quite honestly. Right. I enjoy that part of the show and I love giving them a makeover so they feel better about themselves. Right. But it's not about, ooh, let's put him in Gucci. Like, no. Right. It's about how is that going to affect him and his life. Right. And you're the fashion guy. Yeah. So did they want you to be the, let's put him in Gucci, or did they let you be. They said whatever you wanted to. Natural, ding, naturally ding, ding. tan. And you'll <laughs> learn about that in the book, actually. And I do talk about that in the book. I'd love you to get to that chapter where uh -huh. I talk about the, how that process works. 
they got they let me be me. If I wanted to go to Target, I get to go to Target. Right. I get to decide where I take them okay. based on who that person is, what they represent. Right. It's not it, the reason why we say it's not a makeover show. If it was a makeover show, I'd be like, okay, I've got a few thousand dollars budget. Let's get him a, a, an incredible suit from a designer store because right. that's going to be amazing. Could you imagine that on TV? No. Right. That makes no sense. This is a make better show. It's a show about connection. I like that. Make better. Yeah, it's a yeah. show about connection. I'm going to take him to somewhere that he would actually shop and show him how to do that yeah. right. Right. Speaking of make better, you're very candid in the book about depression. Yeah. Suicidal thoughts, yeah. which I think is very important. You said yeah. on GMA, you don't consider yourself depressed, mm -hmm. but you've had these thoughts. Yes. The, uh, depression is uh, something that people really go through, and, and it's a, an incredibly difficult thing to mm -hmm. get through, and, uh, and, and it's a medical condition that you right. can get help for. I, didn't, I did, do not suffer from depression. Uh, thank goodness I, 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 was, I went through a bad time, a really mm -hmm. hard time. And I think any of us can connect with that, where you go through just a really down patch, and you think, yeah. I can't see light at the end of the tunnel. Right. Thankfully, I had a great support system. I had a great partner, a great bunch of friends yeah. who could see me through that. Right. And the reason why I only touch on it in the book, it's like two sentences, okay. and then I move right on. Right. Because I don't want it to be clickbait. I won't, don't want it to be tank considered suicide. Every one of us has been through something yes. horrible at, at, at some point or another, where we think that's our only option. I'm showing that, yes, I had that just like anybody else right. could have. I moved through it, and I got to a point yeah. where I'm so much happier. Right, and I think the more we talk about it, the more mm -hmm. open we are, yeah. the better, like, and destigmatize the Exactly, and we can be matter-of-fact about it where it's not clickbait. Right. Well, let's talk about your fabulous partner, your husband. He's yeah. adorable. I love him so much. How'd you guys meet? Online, 11 years Grindr? ago. No, it was way... Would there you were no tell apps. me the truth? There, well, 11 years ago, there weren't apps. There okay, weren't so apps what online? Like that. It was called Connection. Connection, it just, it just, that is old school, Tan. I told you it was old. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was um, It was like gay Facebook. Do you remember? Yeah, it was, yeah. You didn't send anything... I was on. Yeah, you didn't send anything inappropriate. It was yeah. just make friends and date. Like, right. not, it's not an app. Yeah. Um, anyway, it went away very shortly after we got together, but he contacted me on there okay. and asked me if I wanted to go out on a date. I was visiting in Salt Lake. And we oh. went on a date, and the rest is history. We got married. And you were later. visiting from the UK? Mm -hmm. So were you international dating yep. long distance? Six years. No way. Six years, yep. Mm -hmm. I know. I can't even date someone in Brooklyn. No. Too far. Okay. <laughs> I talk Let about alone. that. I talk about that in Natural Town. The amount of people who I hear say, oh, well, I can't date because he's like an hour away. I could date six hours, sorry, 16 hour flight away. You can date an hour away. How often yeah. would you see each other? Every uh, six months or three okay. months. Phone conversations every, every day. day, three to four hours a day. Wow. Yeah, I I give a lot. This is but not see, that's a, such a beautiful love story, though. Right? Yeah. This is not a self help book, but I give a lot of dating advice. Read it. Which I need. You need it. I if need it. Tan, and you you can sense it. You need some it. honesty. You need somebody who's gonna be really honest with it's you. True. Like, bitch, you can do that. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if it's an hour away. And then you got married six years later. No, a, a year later, a year and a half later, we got married in England. No way. Yeah, where it was legal. Okay. Come on, America. Um, and you, yeah, guys you guys were, took so long. Did you set up in Salt Lake? Yes. Okay. And we've been there for, uh, we've been there mostly since I met him, so okay. 11 years. <laughs> yeah. But I've been living there full time for the last four and a half years. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Did you want My him favorite. to come to England? He did for a while. Uh -huh. I always wanted to be in America. I love Salt Lake City. Okay. I think it's incredible. So, yeah. yeah, I choose to live there. One of the other fun things in the book that I love is you quit 24 jobs. It was way How? more than that. I just couldn't only remember 24. Yeah, I so I don't even know what to between ask. the age of nineteen <laughs> and twenty three, twenty four ish. Okay, I had so many jobs just because I I didn't know exactly where I wanted to be. I needed money, yeah, and I didn't know how I was going to make money from just fashion. So right. I needed extra work. Okay, um, and uh, it didn't work out so well. So every every few jobs or every time I'd get a job within a few hours, I'd be like, I know I don't not like this. I'm never going to like this, and so I'd quit no during my way. lunch break. Yeah. First do you day. like being told what to do on set by directors, producers? I take direction worse than probably anyone you'll ever meet. Really? If somebody you seem so laid back and no, like, no, I am. But when somebody thinks that they know better than I do, I'm like, I'm gonna fall and cry. Yeah, I, right. I, 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 I think I have this. How does that work out in your nice. relationship? Oh, I'm obviously the one who's the boss. <laughs> but people will say on set, OK, I need you to do this. And I'm th I'll smile, but uh -huh. <laughs> not going to happen. Not doing not it. Happening. All right, let's get to some tips in the book, because I've got some post-its like an old OK, lady. I did notice the post-its. OK. You know you can get small tabs. I know, but I don't know what this is. We're broke. We don't have budget here. OK, uh, let's talk about jeans, do's, and don'ts. Ooh, I love jeans, do's, and don'ts. High-waisted? Yes. For a fashion moment? Yes. OK. But you say low-rise jeans are at least flattering on the body. They really are. 
They really, who do you know that wears low waisted? That I know, but I feel good? like they sell them everywhere. Low waisted? They wear yeah, like a low waist skinny jean. Right? No, no, they no. usually like a, a regular like rise, a mid, okay. mid rise. Those low waisted ones, they were around like early two thousands. Okay, Br like the Britney days where you'd have oh the, those kind, yeah. They're no one wants to see that. Uh -uh. All right, sweatpants. I love what you write about sweatpants in the book. So I do say that you, I wear sweatpants yeah. all the time. I just make sure they're the best version of sweatpants I can find that right. fit really nicely. Right. I have no issue with sweatpants as long as they are they are clearly a fashion or a style moment, not just I can't be bothered and so I'm putting my sweatpants right. on. And I love how you talk about like being your best self even in front of people. My husband. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> here's a common misconception. You think, oh, I landed my man. I don't need to make an effort anymore. He's going to leave you and he's going to sleep with your best friend right. because you <laughs> gave so up on life. It's so true. You gave up on life. Yeah. I still make an effort for my husband every day. Right. And if he decides that he doesn't want me anymore, I'm like, OK, I let myself go. Yeah. See ya. My roommate was telling me yesterday on his way to the gym, yeah. he was like, how do I look? I'm like, fine, you're going to the gym. He's like, but what if I run into somebody cute? And I thought of you, you because I was reading friend. your book. You got a smart friend. I was like, good for you. Mm -hmm. Just be your best self, even yes. if you're walking a block yes. down the street. Yes. All right, high hair, something I can relate to. And I love high hair. Right? Yeah, blow dry, blow dry, blow dry to the heavens. Yes. Someone told me once I shouldn't have high hair because I have a huge forehead. You have a huge forehead. Like, uh, you're rude. Yeah, and I will and you're blow wrong. dry it higher and higher. Yeah, get out of my life, yeah. Satan. How long have you had this hair? Nine years. Really? Yeah. Have you always been salt and pepper? Since seventeen. Oh. Ish. I, I love it. I, it started when I've never had fully black hair. I always okay. had a, a little bit of something, but this version, yeah, for a long time. How long does this process take? Four minutes. That's five. it. What do you use? A pomade. Okay. Blow dry round brush pomade. End of story. No hairspray? No. Oh, interesting. Breakouts. I really okay. have, I'm Breakouts. really particular about my skin. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't do All right. hairspray. All right, let's talk about belts. You see how I stroke sorry, I didn't <laughs> I didn't realize I was stroking my skin. Um belts. I'm not wearing one. I don't do belts. Don't anymore. do belts uh, for function, do them for fashion. Okay. If you need it to hold up your pants, you're wearing the wrong pants. Oh, that's a good tip. All right. Shoes and sandals, very important. What do you want to know? I don't know everything. You can judge a good man by what kind of shoes he's wearing, I think. If they're ugly, I'm out. But the ugly, <laughs> trend, is, the ugly trend is big right now. Uh, I don't, I, I, I love good shoes. I'm obsessed with shoes. Um, sandals, they can go either way. Okay. I just hate flip flops. Right. So what kind of sandal do you recommend for summer 2019 for like I for can, men? Uh, I mean, I, I prefer no sandal. Every now and then I'll wear a sandal. But if you are just chunky straps, so men don't usually have nice feet. There's, there's nothing you want to highlight. Right. So just <laughs> something that has chunky straps on it so you don't uh, highlight your okay. gnarly toes. All right. What makes the best dress celeb overall? Just somebody who knows how to dress their body okay. for their body and for the life that they live. Just yeah. make sure it's appropriate for you. Okay. Make an effort. Yeah. T-shirts, last but not least. You talk I a lot hate about a V neck. I was gonna say V neck tan. I they hate were popular a about ten years ago. The, All of us gays 15. were walking around yeah, yeah, with those yeah. American apparel yes. V necks. No you to know those. what I'm talking about. The only time you should wear a V neck, and I mentioned this in the book, is if you are portly and you don't have Oh. Um, much of a neck, like if you if you have quite a jowl and you don't have a neck, okay. you have to give yourself some shape and break it up. Right. What about a regular crew neck? Love a crew. Love a crew. So nice. Okay. So flattering. You're so wonderful. Thanks so much. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank that. you so for are coming you. by. Thanks. Happy Pride. Thanks, my brown friend. You know what? He's naturally tan, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. So nice to meet you. Love to meet you also.